Hey, a lot of people were really upset about the Super Bowl halftime game, about how sexy it was and how J-Lo was, you know, spreading her legs and grinding and um, the whole thing was just very sexual. Um, I need to explain something, especially to young girls, because I think this is really important. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being sexual. You know, we are sexual. The problem is that a lot of young girls are saying that being this way on stage, a 40 something year old woman wearing a little scanty leotard, whatever, and spreading her legs and dancing around a stripper pole, they're saying this is empowering for women. It's not empowering. They are already empowered to do that, okay? And your sexuality does not define you. There's so many things wrong with this right off the bat. Context is everything. Um, first of all, the reason that they're up there to begin with is because they're celebrities and the celebrities are used to sell merchandise, products, to make a lot of money and to influence the masses so that they believe them and do whatever they want and worship them. It is definitely part of the Illuminati program. And if you don't believe in the, the Illuminati, go look it up on the website. They have a website. They don't hide it anymore. It's been around forever and it's all about materialism. It's what Satan was based on. It's all about dominating in the material world. And many of these celebrities are already part of this system and they don't deny it. They don't talk about it, but they won't deny it. And you can see them using the symbolisms. You can see it in all the, the Super Bowl halftime shows. You just have to open your eyes. Okay, so the symbols themselves are not evil. It's the way they're using them to control people. And even on their website, they talk about how you know money isn't evil. And they're all about making the world a better place and to bring about a new world, uh, a new world order, etc. Well, you know, that sounds great, except here's the thing about it. Money is evil because it's a, an evil system based upon lack. Somebody has to be lacking money in order for the system to work. If everybody had money, nobody would need money, right? So who's going to clean your toilet if everybody's got all the money that they want or whatever? Um, so that's a lie. If they really cared about the masses having everything they need or want, then why are they hoarding technologies, medicine, food, land, etc.? That's what they do. 1% of the world hoards everything and sells it back to the people that it should freely go to. And these celebrities are part of this system. They're brainwashed from day one. It's because they're hungry. That's the first question I was asked when I had a manager. Are you hungry? You know, Radiohead says that in their song. Because they want somebody that's going to do anything to get where they want to go. I said, no, I'm not hungry. And never saw the guy again. Um, okay, so it comes from your soul. You have to be the right kind of person to be able to not be tempted by that lifestyle. And it's much, much deeper than anybody thinks. Okay, so... These young girls are saying that they're, you know, this is empowering to be able to get up and do whatever you want to do. Look, you can do whatever you want to do. That's ne that's never changed. But women have been getting up in front of men and being sexy and, you know, trying to tempt them with their sexuality since the beginning of time. Only most of the time they were forced to do it or they were paid to do it or, you know, nothing's changed. Except for the fact that J-Lo and Shakira are making a lot of fucking money doing that. And here's the problem. It's context. You know, it's not about your right to do something. It's about should you do it based on the circumstances, you know? Where is your consideration and your common decency? It's not just about your right to do something. And, you know, you have to consider, like, what if they're at a, a family football game you were at a game with your, your daughter or son and somebody takes off all their clothes or, you know, is, is wearing a thong or whatever and starts grinding on the, the goalpost. You know, is that okay with you? Because it's not appropriate. And there's a reason why we don't want our children exposed to blatant sexuality at a young age. Because it, it does have effects. 
It is damaging. And there's a reason for that that I won't even get into right now. But the point is, you know, if you're a mature human being, then you think about this, the psychology behind all of this. And you realize that it's not just about your right to be sexual. And if you, if you want to be sexy and stick your ass in somebody's face and, and grind or whatever you want to do, that's your right. Go ahead and do it. But don't pretend like you have the right to do that and nobody else has the right to judge you. You can't control other people. You can't control what they say about you or think about you when you behave that way. And you know, if you if you don't want to be judged, then don't do it. Cuz um that's the world we live in. And we need to be responsible for our actions. Um, if you want to change the world and change the way people see things, that's fine. Go out there and try to do that. But, you know, sexual energy is sexual energy. You're doing it to attract someone's attention. That's why, you know, you can't do that and then complain about it when you do it. You've achieved the goal. Someone's giving you attention. It may not be the, t- the attention that you want. You know, everything is, has an equal or opposite reaction. So anyway, I think it's important for young girls to understand that. Thanks.